Hello, Bill here, Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. Hope everybody's having a, a great day or evening, depending on where you're you're located. Uh, today we're going to make a uh, bow drill kit out of Atlas Cedar. I just posted a uh, video up on uh, the channel uh, covering the identification uh, and of Atlas Cedar and uh, a few of its uses. And what we have here is a couple pieces that I harvested from uh, from the Atlas Cedar. And this one here we're going to turn into a hearth board. This is going to be a little mini kit. And uh, I've never uh, never achieved a coal, never built a, a bow drill kit from uh, Atlas Cedar. So today's going to be a first. And this is going to be my spindle. I already started whittling away on it a little bit. And uh, so I need to reduce the diameter of the spindle down to match the uh, size of the hearth board. So the spindle is going to be reduced by probably, oh, I would say probably almost half the diameter that it is now, about 40%. So what I'm going to do is the, turn the screen around here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. The hardest part of uh, any wood is the heartwood here in the center. And the sapwood uh, on the outside of the heartwood is the softest. You can probably see right here, I did a thumbnail mark. You can see it going right across here. And then it ends. Well, I scraped it, I started on the heart, heart the heartwood excuse me and it left really not much of a thumbprint uh, an imprint for my thumbnail until I got out here past the edge of the heartwood into the sapwood and you can see where the little furrow started that's yeah, a little bit hopefully you can see it better there so this will be the softer area so what I'm going to do is when I whittle this down I'm going to try and remove some of this heartwood reduce the I'm going to reduce the uh, diameter of this down and I'm going to try and preserve uh, part of this sap wood out here so I have a lot more softer wood on the spindle. And uh, it's just a little tip for you guys. If you're ever working with, uh, with harder woods or whatever, if you're going to reduce it down uh, or split it out of a larger piece of wood, uh, always go for the, uh, the sap wood. And, and uh, avoid as much as the heartwood as possible and uh, you'll have a lot more uh, success there. So uh, I'll go ahead and grab my folder here and we will start and then I'm going to cut off here because I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me whittle away on this for 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to go ahead, this is a, a larger section out here so I'm just going to start reducing this down. It's a nice soft wood. First coal I ever achieved with the bow drill was uh, with incense cedar, Calicedrus decurrens. number of tries before I finally got that coal to ignite. That was back in the the uh, early days. Really didn't have a clue as to what I was doing. Wow, this is really soft. It's really carbon nice. And we could just reduce this down. I'm positive and not remove in other words, just reduce it down and leave this heartwood at the center, and I'm positive we would still get a coal. And I've done it a lot of times, but just passing a tip on tip on to you guys here. Yeah, this is really carbon nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause this, finish reducing this down, 
and uh, then I'll uh, come back so I'm not boring you guys to death. So I shall return shortly. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Okay guys, I'm back. So this is where I'm at right here. I reduced it down probably about 30-40% in diameter. I uh, carved the top, this will be the top that goes into the bearing block. Carved it to a point. I'm working on the bottom here and you can see this is where the sapwood was right here. Or the uh, heartwood rather. You can see how I reduced it down and saved a good part of the sapwood up here. So we got a good part of the soft sapwood still in there. And right now I'm just working the end down, blunting the point off here. And when we're done here, we'll go to work on the, uh, the hearth board. Heard a lot of people say uh, they can't get a coal with resinous wood such as pine or pine especially, cedar to a lesser extent. And what they're doing is they're harvesting the wood uh, from the wrong place on the tree. The lower branches up near the close to the trunk uh, are going to contain a lot more resin. That's where you find the fat wood, right up against the trunk where the where the uh, branch connects to the trunk. If you uh, you saw a dead branch off, that's uh, coming out of the uh, out of the trunk, saw it off right right next to the trunk, you're going to see a, uh, that's where you're going to find, uh, you're going to find uh, fat wood, much higher resin content. Now you can harvest wood for a bow drill further out on, uh, on that same branch. Start about halfway out and uh, you're going to have a lot less resin. Now as the branches go up the tree, the higher up they go, the less resin they have. The lower they are down on the trunk, uh, the higher the resin content. And if there's a lot of resin in there, it will prevent you from uh, achieving a coal. So uh, you have to harvest the branches from the proper, the proper place uh, on, a, uh, on a resinous tree. A pine, uh, even cedar. To a certain extent, not as critical, but pine especially. I've never had a problem getting a coal with pine. Let me flip the screen over around here, make sure you guys are in frame. Alright, so we'll go ahead and uh, put our spindle over here. This is going to be a very small hearth board. So we'll go ahead and we'll. Uh, See if we can flatten this out on both sides. Three guys are in frame here. sitting flat. It's a really thin little piece here, so be pretty precise with the, with the cuts. Take another slice off the other side. I usually make my hearth boards about a half an inch in thickness. That's just personal preference. I've seen guys use hearth boards up to an inch thick. And if that works for them, more power to them. Somehow mine have always come out at about a, about a half an inch and that's just what I've gotten used to.
got to sit flat here. Give this a nice flat working surface. Wood's really soft. We should have no problem at all achieving a coal. Cedar. Smells nice. I think we'll use this as the top. Sitting nice and flat looks good. Remove this bark here. Give us a nice, nice clean ed edge here to uh, cut a notch. Nice clean 90 degree edge here. Cut our notch. So we'll go ahead and uh, burn this guy in. Spindle looks like it's a good size on here. Actually perfect. So I think we're good. I'm going to go ahead and reposition the camera and uh, go ahead and get this guy burned in. I shall return momentarily. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. I think I got everything positioned here pretty good. Go ahead and burn this in. And uh, get a notch. Oh, might help if I put a notch in the started a pilot hole on the hearth board. Getting ahead of myself here. This is designed to keep the spindle from wandering while we're uh, burning it in. It just acts as a pilot hole. And it helps if you put it in before you start to uh, before you start to uh, burn the hole in. Good. All right, let's try this again. Make sure you guys are in frame. Yep, looks good. Oh yeah, it's running nice and smooth. You can really feel how a kit's going to perform. You can just feel how smooth it runs. Yeah, we 
we've already got smoke. Yeah, that really ran nice. do will notch it out. I love this little folding saw. I found it at uh, at the flea market. I think I paid a dollar for it. notches off a little bit. Let's see if we can clean it up a little bit here. Kind of went in at an angle. I'm going to flare the bottoms out here a little bit. This always draws a little more air to the coal. Just V them out. Yeah, I think we're about ready to get a get a coal going here in a little bit. It's actually a pretty crappy notch, but I was cutting with my left hand instead of my right. Eh, we can still make it work though. Let's stay tuned. Hey guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was interrupted. Okay, so uh, we have our notch cut, and I'm making a tender bundle out of uh, just jute, small bundle for demonstration purposes. And uh, what I do, I separate the fibers. And just pull them apart, just like that. Pull them apart, add them to the bundle. And this one doesn't want to cooperate. 
There always seems to be one in every bundle. And the last one here. All right, I think we're good to go. Let's see if we can get a coal with this guy. Make sure you guys are in frame here. All right, let's give this a shot. Welcome, Matt. All right, I think we're good to go. The notch time to fill up with char Just keep an eye on the notch a little bit of smoke the notch is filling up pretty fast it's a good sign Notch is looking good. Pick up our speed now. Put more pressure. Get it to ignite. And that, my friends, was almost too easy. Cedar is uh, definitely one of the one of the easier woods I've used. Wow, a nice coal going there, and it looks like the spindle might have went through about. Mm, I'm going to say maybe 40, 45 percent. Of the wood so there's definitely enough notch there easily for one more coal. You take the char and bunch the char together. Very impressed with that wood. dump this guy in the tender bundle. Wrap it around and blow it into flame. And we have fire. Very impressed with cedar, uh, Atlas cedar. It's really, uh, Really a great wood to work with, and this kit ran so smooth. I mean, it was just smooth as glass. Didn't fight me at all. Uh, extremely impressed with it. 
Uh, I've made kits out of pine and uh, the uh, pine kits uh, worked just as efficiently. Uh, very smooth, great little mini kit. You know, you don't need you don't need really big pieces of uh, really big pieces of wood. Uh, you know, in order to make a, a bow drill kit, and I love making little mini kits. I call them pocket kits. And uh, but uh, and even with my crappy notch, it still worked good. The notch doesn't have to be exact. I just got off on one side. I was sawing with the wrong hand, so but it is what it is. It still worked doesn't always have to be pretty anyways guys uh, I hope you enjoyed the watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it and uh, it is blazing hot out here it's uh, about 110 111 degrees so uh, but I want to get out and uh, I have so many videos that I still want to make uh, and uh, tons of them probably oh god I've got probably at least another hundred videos in the works so uh, there's definitely no shortage there. The, the shortage is time, and even with the heat, uh, I wanted to get out here and uh, and get a video going. So, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys are having a good one, and uh, I will see you very soon on the next one. Everybody, take care. Have a great day. Bye bye.